the lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be talking about Dita Von Tees and her favorite luxury beauty products. So for those of you who don't know, Dita Von Tees was born on September 28th, 1972. And she's known professionally as Dita Von Tees, but her real name is Heather. She is an American burlesque dancer, model, businesswoman, fashion designer, singer, and actress. She is credited with repopularizing burlesque performance and is known as the Queen of Burlesque. Von Tees chose her stage name by adopting the name Dita as a tribute to a silent film actress Dita Parlow. For her breakthrough December 2002 Playboy cover, she was required to have a surname, so she chose Von Trees from the phone book. Playboy misspelled it Von Tees and a name which she then kept. Dita is known for her signature painted eye, heavily penciled brow, swipe of crimson lipstick, and black locks. She says, I have my signature look and I'm sticking to it because it is a look that is 100% me and 100% created by me. I might be a one trick for it, but it's a pretty good trick. So I'm going to go in and talk about some of Dita Von Tees' favorite luxury beauty products. So I have two perfumes here that she loves and Dita says, I love perfumes of the past, says Dita Von Tees, who released two fragrances of her own this spring. Once upon a time there were perfumes that didn't smell like little girls and candy and sweetness and vanilla. I mean Marlena Dietrich would not have worn a perfume that had vanilla in it and so many celeb scents smell like a stripper spray. I'm a stripper and I work in strip clubs, but I don't want to douse myself in it and smell like one. Some of my favorite perfumes are Kells de Fleurs, Lancome Magie Noir, Jean Paul Gaultier Classique. And she says that Jean Paul Gaultier one smells like makeup and is so nice. So I'm going to go in and describe some of these perfumes for you. So Lancome Magie Noir is a category of perfume that kind of falls into the retro femme fatale category rather than a uh, kind of fruity fragrance so it's very mysterious it kind of reminds me of Shalimar mixed with Jicky and a little bit of the original Miss Dior it's a really nice fragrance I'm kind of surprised I've never heard of it before um, you don't even see it really displayed at the Lancome counter because I went there today to look and I didn't even see it there so it's kind of an obscure fragrance which I like about it and it kind of has a gothic name and kind of like a satanic bottle um it's just like a really nice mysterious fragrance and i kind of like it knowing that not that many people wear it it's not as well known as other perfumes and it's just like a really nice kind of mysterious dark perfume i really like it it's like way better than i thought it would be and now i'm just like really impressed with dita von Tees's taste i feel like she just has incredible taste and this one is good um, if you're a vintage perfume collector because I feel like it just works so well in any collection and because it has notes from other really famous vintage perfumes. And so the top notes are bergamot, hyacinth, raspberry, green note, and cassis. The heart notes are honey, jasmine, lily of the valley, narcissus, orris, and rose oriental. The base notes are patchouli, Civet, Vevedere Musk, Oak Musk, and Benzoin. And this perfume was created in 1978, so it definitely is a vintage perfume. And it's one of my new favorites, I just love it. Next on the list is Coquelle's Fleurs, and this one is a really nice perfume. It's Princess Diana's favorite perfume, and it's a French perfume that debuted in 1912. And it's very groundbreaking because it is one of the first perfumes that had a refined bouquet of several multi-floral scents. So it's kind of the first multi-floral perfume. And it just smells so good and it's such a classic scent. It has bergamot, tarragon, and lemon for the head notes. The heart notes are jasmine, lily of the valley, violet, rose, ylang ylang, carnation, broom flower, orange blossom, and clove. And the base notes are oak moss, sandalwood, civet, cedarwood, musk, and tonka bean. And next on the list for her favorite perfumes is jean Paul Gaultier Classique. And this is my first time trying the perfume. I got the special edition pin-up bottle because it reminded me of Dita's. 
And this bottle also reminds me of Mae West and the Scaparelli perfume bottle that you can no longer get, but it's that shocking pink perfume bottle. It looks very similar with the stand. I just love the glittery pin-up box. It just reminded me of Dita, even the model on the cover. I just think it's incredible and very glamorous. And it smells so good. I'm obsessed with it. It does kind of smell like makeup in a good way. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but it's an oriental floral woman's fragrance. And it's kind of a sweet, warm, powdery base and a little bit of spice to it. The top notes are rose and rum. The middle notes are vanilla orchid, narcissus, and the base notes are vanilla, amber, tonka bean, and sandalwood. It's just a really nice scent. And I love the powder like notes to it. And yeah, I just... I'm really glad I took the plunge and tried it out because I was um, a little bit nervous, but I love the bottle too. So I really recommend these perfumes if you want to dive into the vintage perfume market. So now let's dive into some of Dita's favorite skincare products. So she says she doesn't go to a fancy dermatologist. In fact, I went to a hotshot doctor once and they completely screwed up my skin and told me I had rosacea. It was terrible. No thank you, says Dita. I now go to a dermatologist who is just super cool. He told me to just use what I want, so I just started using m Essence. Madonna uses it too, so I mean, it must work, right? And here are some of Dita's favorite skincare products for dry and sensitive skin. So when her skin feels dry, she uses the m Essence Coconut Age Corrective Moisturizer. And this one has coconut oil and shea butter, and it moisturizes and soothes the skin tone. And when her skin feels sensitive, she likes to use the Essence Apricot Nourishing Cream made from biodynamic ingredients and that helps treat dehydrated skin. And this one is really good to wear overnight um, and has apricots, echinacea, and aloe in it. And it's really good. You can even use it as a mask or an overnight treatment. So it's just a really nice overall face mask. I also read in her book that she loves Dr. Hushka Rose Day Cream, so I picked that up as well, and it smells so good, and it's a really nice, rich, nourishing cream. So now that I've talked a bit about her skincare products, I'm gonna dive into her favorite makeup items. So for powder, she says she uses MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and she uses her own red lipstick from her Art Deco line that is out in Germany. And she also loves Dior Rouge Dolce Vita and Diorific Roulette Red. And she loves the MAC Cherry Lip Pencil. And for eyeliner, she likes to use the Gear Lane Liquid Eyeliner. And this is like a fi fine tipped eyeliner. And for mascara, she loves the Dior Show Mascara. And then for the bottom lashes, she uses the Givenchy Phenomena Eyes Mascara. With the ball on the end because it really helps with the bottom lashes. And for hair care, she loves the line Oblipica, and this is a professional hair care line. And I got the Seaberry Hair Mask to try. Um, she raves about this line, and you can even buy it on Amazon. So I wanted to try the hair mask, because my hair is dry right now because of the summer. And it's a really nice, thick, nourishing hair mask, and it smells really good. And I love the purple packaging, so I'm really excited to try this one out as well. I'm going to go in and try out some of these products and test them out for you and let you know what I think. So to start, I'm going to try the Dr. Hushka Rose Day Cream. I'm going to do a little bit on one side of my face, and then on the other side, I'm going to try the m Essence Organic Coconut Age Corrective Moisturizer because it's more of a daytime. Let's try a little bit of the coconut one. It smells really good. It's like a really nice coconut smell. And Dita has incredible skin, so I can only imagine how good this product is. And it feels really rich and creamy, which I like with for skincare. And I've tried this Dr. Hushka before. It's really good. It's kind of expensive. This cream was $50 and it's not very big, but you really don't need it very much. And it's really concentrated. And if you love roses as much as I do, then you will love this cream. And I do have a little bit of allergies, so my sense of smell is not good. And right now you can just tell it's like a really nice thick rose cream. And I love roses. But you don't need much with both these creams because they're very concentrated. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a bit pricey, but 
but the ingredients are all natural so it's worth it in my opinion especially if you just don't use too much to try to stretch it out and then next on the list is her foundation so she loved Dior foundation and the one that she likes is the age correcting capture total foundation and this is a triple correction serum foundation that gets rid of wrinkles dark spots and radiance and this is the one that she likes so i'm going to put a little bit of this one on and test it out first time trying it on with you guys so i'm hoping that the color is correct i'm just going to put a little bit on my hand and then put it on to the beauty blender and see if i can blend this in properly and hopefully it is the right shade right now it does look a little dark actually she said she said this was the second to lightest shade but kind of looks dark to me so we'll see once i blend it in if this is correct i really wanted this to work i wanted to try it it was expensive though again because dita has really high end taste this foundation with tax it came to a hundred dollars mm, i'm just blending it now it's still hard to tell whether or not it's the correct shade So we'll see, she said, this is the second to lightest shade. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the mascara and lipstick, but I am gonna do a bit of eyeshadow to create her look. And she has a pretty basic eye look, just a little bit of eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do the Vintage Doll Cosmetics 1950s palette and just use a bit of the matte white to start on the base of my eyes. Before I go in and use her favorite eyeliner and mascara. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with those Sophia and just do a little bit of contouring on my eyelid. Then to finish it off, I'm going to go in with the Marilyn and just give my eyelids a nice overall shimmer to give it a little touch of glam. Marilyn's a really fun shade, and I just like to sweep it across my eyes. It just makes everything look a little bit more glamorous. And now that that is done, I want to go in with her favorite um, face powder, and this is MAC Light Mineralized Skin Finish Face Powder. And I got the lightest shade, so I'm going to go in and powder my face. Let's see how it goes, but my face is very shiny right now, especially because it's so warm out. But it has a really nice um, feel to it so far. It gives nice coverage. Her favorite eyeliner is the Gear Lane precision felt eyeliner so I'm gonna go in and do a basic cat eye similar to the one she does and try out this eyeliner and see how it goes it has a really nice precision tip good if you want like a really subtle cat eye So there's two mascaras that she likes to use for the top eyelash. She likes to use the Dior Show mascara. And for the bottom, she used the Givenchy one because it has a nice ball shape for doing the bottom lashes. First impressions, it has a really nice thick brush. So the top lashes have a really nice lengthened look to it. It's pretty good mascara. It has a nice curl to it as well. It's good. It actually does work really well for sweeping your underneath lashes just to subtly go in and it really separates it too. Hmm, I'm pretty impressed. It's good if you want to create that doll-like look. I really like it actually. It really separates the lashes underneath. It's kind of cool. So that is her mascara favorite so I used two different ones. I really like the ball shape one for the bottom. It really worked well. I'm really impressed by that. Lip liner, she loves MAC lip liners and this one is a cherry lip pencil. And then for lipsticks, she loves the 
Dior lipstick in Dolce Vita 555. So to start, I'm going to line my lips with the MAC one. But I really like this one for a subtle daytime red. I think it's really nice. It has a nice satin finish to it as well. Moisturizer for body, like hair and face. She loves the NUX dry oil and I got this in a new scent and this is made with seven precious botanicals and this is a new floral scent and it's a really nice moisturizer for summer you can use it on your face hair and body I've been using it on my body and I love this floral scent it's really good doing it on your chest area and neck as well and I just love the floral scent so I got that one as well Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you have a favorite and if you're willing to try any of them. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.